Alright, let's go get that tissue sample. Question is, how the fuck do I get back there? Alright, that's the transitionary door. So from here, I need to go this way? Oh my god. Has everyone got enough of me? Okay, we're good. Is this the right way? Hold on, I think this... This? Leading up to wait. Is it down here? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Now, I haven't actually read the part in the walkthrough where it says how to deal with this. So, flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm guessing I just open the door and shoot. Here we go. I'm gonna be awfully close to that door. Oh god. Um, whoops. Okay, fuck it. I'm following the walkthrough. Forget that. Forget all of that. I can cut the door when the time is right. For now, fuck it. Okay, time to enter the necropolis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, yep, 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 yep. There are no street signs, but there are four reference points on your map that you'll need to explore. It's a perilous maze of winding tunnels and bottomless crevices. It's really easy to get lost down there, and there are a couple of areas where you can fall, so try to stay away from the edges. Okay. Alright, I need to get Matlock back to the elevator room, and she needs the flare gun, a pair of lenses, the belt, and the Erebus printout. Wait, she needs the actual printout? Does he have it? Please tell me he still has it. Okay, good, he does. Okay. So, she needs the printout. Um, hmm. What else did she need? Oh, she needs some lenses. Shit. Okay, I need to go back for those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some item juggling here. I think you need the lenses to see down there. I, I think it's like... They're like seeing the dark lenses or something absurd like that. It's really weird. Alright, well, I shouldn't need the book anymore, right? So I'm gonna stash that in the tube. Alright. She needs... Flare gun, check. The belt, check. Erebus printout, check. That's, uh... That's everything except the lenses. Okay, lenses are in. The Kremlin. Time to pay a visit to the Kremlin. In fact, I'm just gonna grab all of the lenses while I'm here. Because I think every crew member needs them. Oh shit. Uh. 
Okay, that takes care of that. This way, and then take a right. Yep. And then take another right. Okay, here we go. Grab them all. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna leave them here. I think I also wanted to get rid of the book, but... Uh, I need to make some room. Wait a minute. I guess I can probably put in a pair, right? These should throw some light on a hidden subject. Okay. These should throw some light. Apparently he won't use them right now. Thank you. It's wonderful. Oh, there's a pair for everybody. Alright, should be safe back here. Yep. Okay, and I have everything. They're much thicker than my contact lenses. That's because they're magical. Don't you know? Right, well I don't want to keep using up saves here, so let me use saves in a more precarious place. Uh, let me kill her. Temporarily kill her, that is. Uh, what am I on? Save... 33. <clears throat> Alright, let's go kill that Trimorph. Here we go. Look at him just hanging out in there. Time to teach him a lesson. He... Time to teach him a lesson he will forget. Because he'll be dead and he won't remember anything when he's dead. Yeah. Come on. That one's a ghost, apparently. Okay. Hold on. Why are they ghosts? I don't understand. When did they become ghosts? How the hell did that miss? Are you kidding me? It's a good thing I saved. Jesus. Well, 
Let's try this again. Okay. Now it's done. And apparently you can't take a tissue sample from this trimorph because it magically disappears and the other ones don't. Or something. So that's wonderful. Open crate. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I am building a bomb. Explosives, a detonator, clock. Shit ton of piccolo ammo. And my very own Diabolus. Do I have any Diabolus rounds? I don't. Hmm. I don't really have room for this stuff. What do I not need? I almost want to ditch the piccolo, but I have so many rounds for it. Well, hold on. I think I'm going to use up some of these items. Alright, apparently there's nothing I can do back here. Quite agree. There's something lacking here. Of course, the character doesn't tell you, but thanks to the walkthrough, I know. What's lacking is a belt. And is that it? Hold on. Search the crate by the elevator for some items. Just leave the explosives and the detonator in the box for now. You won't need them until the very end. Okay. Sit in front of the elevator. You'll see that the elevator is missing a dry belt, so use your dry belt to fix it. Step inside. Use the printout to go down to the necropolis. Here we go. One drill shot. Elibus. Bingo. Some kind of jerry-rigged back tube system. I'm glad they put one down here. Alright, I believe there's a shit ton of enemies down here. Will someone turn the bloody lights on? I believe what she means to say is that you now need to use the contact lenses to see. Clear as day. A very, very dark day. How exactly that works, no one knows. All right, let me just check. Take a look at the map and make your way over to point one. All right. Point one. So let's just explore. Yeah, there's two songs in this game that I, from what I can remember, that I really like. There's the main theme, when you go into the menus. I think it's really well done. And then there's the Necropolis theme, which you're hearing right now. 
Well, okay, it doesn't sound great right now, but it gets creepy at times. Yeah, so this is the dig site. I don't know about the rest of you, but I've got a lot of red fear pumping in my veins. Uh, who is she talking to? It sounds like she was talking to her other team members, but it didn't appear to be over the radio. Alright, I'm going to the right of all of these. Yeah, which should take me straight to point number one. Pro dodge. Fail. Fail pro dodge. I guess I should see if they have anything on them. Okay. Seriously. Don't need that, but who cares? Wait, is that some writing on the wall? Can't examine it. Alright, nothing in the vac tube. Storage box one, hello. Okay, nails, don't need. Piccolo ammo, what the hell? Dillinger, hell yes. Health boost, I have 12. Why not make it 13? Monkey wrench, sure that's gonna come in handy. And passcode. I believe that's at storeroom two. Got it. All right, let's shove that back in the box. Also, I don't think I need the printout anymore, do I? I shouldn't. Also, don't need the micro quarter. Micro re quarter. Oh, no, no, it's actually just micro quarter. Alright, point number one. Where are. Oh. I guess this is it. It must be. Are right, there supposed to be two exits leading from here? Hey, what's up? I'm actually gonna use my piccolo for this. I remember there being trimorphs here. Uh. In fact, I think that was a trimorph coming to eat my face. Hold on. Take a look at the walkthrough. You'll find a vacuum in a storage chest. The storeroom code is for the locked door in the Kremlin. Ooh, ooh, wait. The locked door in the Kremlin, I think that's where I am. With uh, Matlock, right? I mean, um, yeah, him. Well, shit, let's do that right now. Just gotta find a safe place. Is this safe? I don't know, safe enough for now. Okay. Five seven four eight. Bingo! What is in here?
Antitoxin, Health Boost, Dillinger Ammo, and Diabolus Ammo. Okay, so nothing I need, but things that are helpful. I guess I'll take them all. Alright. How much do- who, who, what the fuck is wrong with this game's inventory system? It's multiplying my ammo like crazy. Why do I have 5,760 bursts? Oh my god. Okay, who had the extra Diabolus? Didn't someone have an extra Diabolus? Where did it go? Shit, I must have left it somewhere. Hmm. Well, anyway. Alright. Back to the walkthrough. Hard for the lar head for the large circle region on your map. The colonists call this area the pit. When you arrive at the pit, you'll hear some heavy footsteps. So equip your flare gun and wait in the hallway. A trimorph will come running from around the circle. Shoot the trimorph for an easy kill and head counterclockwise around the pit. And apparently you can fall if you get close to the inside, okay? Alright. I think I should save it first. Can I save on this computer? Yes, I can. Let's do that. 30... The hell am I at? I don't know. 35? Flare gun time. Hopefully my aim is better than usual. Whoops. Come on. It sounds like a heart beating. Oh. Did Mood just make fun of me? Fuck you, Mood. Alright, well, I've got to pat myself on the back for that one. You know what happened? I pressed the wrong key to shoot. Whoops. Hey, I can't take all the blame for that. The controls in this game are shit. Complete shit. I pressed space when I should have pressed enter. Okay. Enter. Enter to shoot. Excuse me. You gonna come? Is it stuck? There we go. Right, so apparently you can fall. Geology is not my best subject. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I need to use the explosives on this fissure like at the end of the game or something. And I think that's it. The Karakarak must have sculpted this from the original volcanic vent. Alright, so this is where I need to go. Let me just make sure I'm doing the right thing. Leads to point two. I right, get to point two.
Wait, how's this going to lead to point two? Wait a minute, did I just go in a circle? I just went in a circle, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's hit to point two now. Should be this way? Yeah. Somewhere over here. I don't want to leave any areas unexplored, but I think a lot of this is just like a maze. Uh, why is there f oh shit. That looks dangerous. But I have a feeling that's where I need to go. Unless this is it. No, this is back. God damn it. Alright, here we go. Through the floating zombies and through the poisonous things. Come down off your high horse. Your invisible high horse. There we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Wait. Don't I already have that? I could have sworn 5748. Yeah, I already have that. I believe those poison you. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh my god, I'm being chased by a horde. Holy shit. Don't even know where I'm going, but I can't stop. I literally can't stop. I don't know where I am. Health boost. Dillinger. Where the hell am I going? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this game. Try that again, shall we? You know what? Fuck. I I'm not gonna bother killing that thing. I don't even need to. I can kill it later. Point number two is a dig site. Okay. Dig site. I'll know it when I see it. I hope that's not actually hurt. Okay, it hurts. Well, this is going well. Let's try shooting those little shits on the ground. Come on. Oh, what the fuck did I just press? This isn't working. Fuck you. God damn it, I'm gonna fucking die again.
All right, let me lure him out. Yeah, come on out here. And here we go. Goodbye. Oh God. All right, let's not fall in a pit this time. That kind of sucked. Oh, th this is it. Yeah, this is site number two. I don't mind if this is a city of the dead, but if it's a city of the not so dead, I mind. Okay, In interesting observation. God damn it, fuck off. Really? There we go. Sounds like a pig. And we have some peace and quiet, and I am dying. I'm gonna use my one antitoxin. But at least we have peace. And hopefully a save point, please. Holy shit. Okay, she needs a Diabolus. Like, she seriously needs it. In fact, if there's a vac tube here, I think I'm gonna give her one. Alright, don't you need to, like, fix this generator or something? There's something to do with a generator here. Oh, hello. It appears to be harnessing the power of fire. The generator is about to grind to a halt. It sounds like it isn't even running. I would say it's already ground to a halt. That's a very thick cable. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do with it? I have a monkey wrench. Oh, apparently that's. What I'm supposed to do? What, what am I doing? Tightening it? Amazing what you can do with a monkey wrench. Did it work? I can't see the end of the cable. What did she just do? Was it loose? It's warming up nicely. Okay. Wonder what goes in there. There's a small hatch. Uh, artifacts? I don't think that worked. What does everyone else have? Anything that could be relevant? Doesn't look like it. At least not in their inventories. Don't want to fall in. Alright, let's hope there's a save point in here. Oh, hello, red tag. Oh my god. I have so much Diabolus ammo. I need Diabolus's. Jonathan Darnley, Biolab Supervisor, for my sins, which are many and mortal, in this Martian establishment in this year of our law, 2018. It's uh, August the 8th. Our cyber lab informed, keeping abreast of the Earth calendar with the outlandish 687-day Martian year is exceedingly tiresome. Oh, uh, whatever. It's um, quarter to ten in the evening. Not that you can tell night from day in this blasted cavern. It was I who dubbed it this Cyclopean chamber. Cyclopean ruins, bewildering alien architecture and all that. It's all too... Lovecraftian. 
wouldn't have any different from my own home in Chiswick. The arena site is very quiet at the moment. Everyone's at the far end in the regal tomb. The crane's all set up. Standing here in the cyclopean chamber looking at the alien architecture raised before life crawled out of Earth's oceans. I get a feeling of terrible immensity. A quarter to midnight. I'll not survive to hear midnight's chimes. A bad dream has come true. For anyone who may find this recording, I proffer a single suggestion. What gave birth to rod, spiral, and oval can be turned against rod, spiral, and oval. As for the rest, silence. Indeed, I'm going to turn them against each other using the serum, I think. <laughs> Alright, um, does, is this red tag redundant? I can't even go back to the map. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, there's only one red door, so I've already used it. So unless there's a red door down here, I'm good. I don't think I need it. Alright, so I do want to get her the Diabolus. Oh, look at it, it's a laptop. It's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a laptop. It's a palm top. Wait, I can take it? I can actually take it with me? The hell do I do with it? Alright, looks like that's everything in here. Yep, let's take a look at the note and the palm top computer. Is the word laptop like copyright or something? I didn't think it was. Don't twist the chorus until it sings. Hmm. Must be a warning. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. So let's shove that in there, shove that in there. Don't need the note. Intact palm top. No battery. Sod's law. Maybe if I place it in the generator, it will somehow magically be powered? I don't see how that would work. How the hell would that do anything? No. Okay, hold on, what does that use it with? Use palm top computer with? Oh shit, I need a battery of some sort. And I don't have any and I don't believe I've seen any. Okay, walk through time. Alright. Head through the little tunnel, it'll come to point number two. The arena site is fairly large, but there are only two places you need to check. Uh, first, there's a generator to your west, but it's not working right now. Don't worry about it yet. Check out the storage box for some ammo in the artifact. The chorus is a unique item that will play an important role later on, once you figure out what it does. 
Enter the building and take the palm top and the chorus note. The laptop doesn't work yet, it needs a battery, but once you get it running, you'll be able to save anywhere in the game. Ooh! That sounds amazing. When you're ready to go, it's time to move on to point number three. Well, shit. Okay. I hope I don't fall down any shafts again. <laughs> no kidding, the path to point number three can be kind of confusing. I find that if you take the straightest route, you'll always end up at point number three. And then apparently at point number three, there's a battery for the palm top, but you need to charge it back at point number two. Okay, so go straight. Good to know, but before I do that, I want the Diabolus. So, who you don't have it, no, and I don't remember where the extra is. So, I'm just gonna have Kenzo give up his, since I don't think I need to do the Dead's Man, Dead Man's Walk anytime soon. Plus, he does have the Sayonara, so he's kind of overloaded with weapons. So let's donate a weapon to the needy. Zombie porn. Alright, I think she has plenty of ammo, but I might as well give her some. I just gave her 720. Really? Okay. If you say so. Oh, is this actually where I meant to go? I just realized he doesn't even have a weapon. Do I have... Oh, shit, I don't even have any Dillinger. Okay, I guess that's the Sayonara for me. Damn it. Door closed. Hold on a second. He needs health, she needs the Diabolus, and she has plenty of health, so let's swap some items. I'm gonna give Kenzo some health, because he loses it every time he uses the Sayonara. Five should be good. Mm, I think I will use one now. Yep. Now let's go back to the mood chamber. I don't even know if I need to be there anymore, but it doesn't hurt. Some items are switched around, and now I have a better weapon for dealing with crowds. Wait a minute. Did the Diabolus... switch? From telling me how many bursts I have to telling me how many actual rounds I have? Hold on, 36. What? It used to tell me how many bursts of shots I have, but now it's telling me just how many rounds I have? Okay. Well, I mean, 2,000 is still, I think, more than I could ever use, but... Why did it change? Wait! Maybe it was the patch! I bet it was the patch! Yeah! Okay, well, I'm actually glad they did that, because it's better than telling you the number of bursts, because that made no sense at all. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know what? Before I risk it, I'm going to save again. Uh, what am I at? What the hell? Go for 40, because I don't remember. Alright, so it said take the straightest path and you'll always end up at point number three. Point number three. Okay, so it should be a big chamber with three pillars. Wait, is this the way I came from? I think this is the way I came from. Or is it? Wait, no, 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 it's not. It's just that all the pathways look the same, I guess. Alright, take the middlemost route, huh? Okay, I guess this is the middle, maybe? Oh, shit, okay. Middlemost route? Is this... okay? Oh, ooh, I think I'm here. Yes, I'm here. some sort of a foreboding thumping noise. Ooh. And an antitoxin. Alright, what have we got? Hello. Very silly. Actually, it's not. I wanted to put it in there to temporarily store some items, but apparently I can't. Alright, well that stacks, that stacks, that stacks, and that stacks. Anything I don't need? Okay, you know what? I don't need this many weapons. So, hold on. Kenzo. Kenzo literally... Only has... only has a Sayonara. He has a Dillinger, but he has no ammo for it, so I need to give him a weapon. Let's give him a Piccolo. Yeah, I'm gonna dump my Piccolo, because I don't think I'm gonna need it anymore. Oh, God. This is gonna take a while. Nope. Okay. Whew. Had to get into the groove there. Alright, now I've got some more slots. Kenzo can pick that up whenever he wishes. Alright, so what the, I can go back to charge that laptop, but hold on, it says... You'll need to recharge it back at point number two, but there are a couple more things to see here first. Obelisk Puzzle. The Obelisk Puzzle is probably the toughest puzzle in the game now. It's not really difficult, it's just really hard to figure out what's going on here. I can attest to that, because... When I first played this game, I remember this puzzle drove me fucking nuts until I looked at a walkthrough. And when I looked at the walkthrough, I thought, What? That's what I was supposed to do? I, I couldn't even figure out how they expected me to even conceptualize of their solution. Alright. If you continue to the west, you'll see a trimorph guarding a large stone pillar. There are two things you'll need to be aware of. First, that large pillar standing in front of is called the obelisk. See, that was the problem. When I originally played that, I didn't even know that it was the obelisk I was looking at. Hold on, let's find it. You'll see what I mean. Wait, continue to the west. 
the west relative to which direction? Um... I don't know which way is west. Alright, hopefully this is west. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in the game you hear all this talk about the obelisk, and I guess you have to do something to it. And I could never find out where the obelisk is. You know why? Because what that Trimorph is beating on is the obelisk. That hunk of rock that doesn't stand out from anything else is the thing called the obelisk. Yeah. Okay. There's no way to get to the obelisk when the Trimorph is blocking it. So why not just shoot it with a flare gun, you say? Well, here's the second thing you'll need to know. This Trimorph is invincible. When you play the game on the PC, you'll see that this Trimorph is noticeably different from the others. He has a golden sheen around him. Plus, in the PC version, he's not just standing in front of the obelisk. He's pounding on it with his fists and shaking the entire cavern. To really understand this puzzle, you need to assume the Trimorph is hitting the obelisk. If you run past the Trimorph and continue to the west, you'll come across an excavation site. This is called the Regal Tomb. It's where the colonists discover the giant sarcophagus you've been hearing so much about. Okay, hold on. Let me see what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so let's go recharge the battery. Apparently there's a lot of information on the palm top. So let's get that baby charged and let's hopefully not fall into a cavern. Gonna go slow. Oh god. Okay, is this where I came from? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, this is where I came from. Yep. Alright, let's get that baby working, read that information, and then save the game. So wait, do I just recharge this battery by shoving it in the vent panel thing of a generator? How the hell does that work? Can someone explain that to me? Is it done? Has it been cooked? Okay. I guess they've invented new battery charging technology called Charge by Proximity. Simply place the battery in the proximity of something that generates power and it will automatically charge in seconds. Bingo. Okay, um, so does this thing have unlimited saves? No, but it's got a bunch. Right, well, before I do that, let's see what we have here. Vulcanism. Okay. Got a couple passwords here. Maybe hammer. Bingo. Progress report. Indira Sen. According to Nadja Kerensky, who would admit to being the most controversial geologist on Vita Base, the traces of active volcanism under the base and in the general region of Olympus Mons possess the characteristic of an organically engineered system. Kerensky believes that the active volcanic vents, the active volcanic vents, of eons past were adapted into a form of piped heating. 
The Pit Chamber is a particularly striking example of this organic engineering. The necropolis was powered by volcanism with a volcano's stupendous power harnessed and maintained by a number of checks and balances. If just a few of these regulatory mechanisms are disturbed, Nadja reckons, the whole system would blow. <laughs> Nowhere is this more evident than in the basalt plug in the fissure just below the rim of the vent in the pit chamber. An immense pressure of molten lava has built up behind that basalt barrier, so much so that the plug is fractured. But the Karakarak balancing mechanism should keep the impending eruption at bay for maybe a million years more. However, Nadja is understandably nervous about the Goddardamarung explosives shipped in from Earth. They have the explosive potential to blast a hole clean through into hitherto inaccessible caverns, but they also have the capacity to shatter the basalt plug. According to Nadja's calculations, the pressure of the released magma would result in a major eruption that would wipe out both the necropolis and Vita base. So keep those explosives away from the pit chamber, Fisher, or we'll blow ourselves sky high. Hint, hint. Okay, so I believe the explosives are used to blow the fissure and blow the entire place up to bury all of this ancient evil back into the ground where it belongs. So I'm guessing that's what I do right before I escape in the shuttle. Alright, what's on here? Alright, I'm going to read these and then I'm going to end the episode. Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm going particularly insane after everything I just had to deal with. So let's take a breath. And this time, I'm not going to get lightheaded while reading, I hope. The Necropolis. Progress Report, David Cheng. In my opinion, the Necropolis is both well and badly named. Well named because, to the best of our knowledge, everything in the Cyclopean, Cyclopean Chamber and its environment is long dead. Badly named because it was clearly never a city of the dead for Martians. Even the so-called sarcophagus appears to be a form of shell extrusion from a massive body, not a tomb. Since discovering the necropolis and identifying shafts in its, root, in its roof, we have been able to locate the aperture of dozens of air filtration shafts on the Martian surface. In principle, the filtration shafts bear some resemblance to our own recyc, although with some puzzling features. It's as though their engineering was organic. The oxygen levels here correspond to Earth's atmosphere at about 800 meters above sea level. The temperature here is warmer now than it would have been when the city was established as many volcanic vents are comparatively recent. Concerning the size of this location, all we know for sure is that much of it has been blocked off by rockfalls or buried in deep volcanic pits. I would guess that we're seeing a small fraction of the original city, unless we were extraordinarily, lu extraordinarily lucky in the sighting of Vita Base, there must be hundreds, maybe thousands, such subterranean cities on Mars. As for dating this site, any estimates are purely provisional. It must be younger than Olympus Mons, as it is dependent from heat on the volcanic vents. So I would guess it was founded about 400 million years ago and died out some 200 million years later. As for the dating, the point of which the Karakrak first moved underground, here's a wild guess. When the oceans of Mars evaporated over 3 billion years ago, the Karakrak moved underground wherever there were thermal springs, adapting natural caverns to their own purposes. Gradually, they spread a network of underground cities under the Martian surface. This necropolis would have been one of the last of the underground dwellings. As to what happened in these cities over billions of years, God knows, like us, they were oxygen breathers, but I would say it's about all we have in common. I've seen all the sci-fi movies, but not since I listened to The Silence of the Necropolis have I really understood the meaning of the word alien. We could never begin to imagine what was in their minds. Alien. Regal Doom. Preliminary note one. Blah, God, I'm already losing the ability to form words. <laughs> Preliminary note one. Alfred Billington to Judith Haraway. Haraway, however you pronounce her name, I keep forgetting. The chamber was named. Uh, the chamber we named the Regal Tomb is, in all probability, no such thing. Despite all our training, we archaeologists have shown a tendency to revert to ancient Egyptian concepts now that we are finally confronted with an alien civilization. If we push to a provisional suggestion, I would say that the regal tomb is some form of nest, just as the subcavern we have named the cathedral may be a form of psionic regenerator. Acoustics seem to be a fundamental part of the Karakarak's organic technology, but the hows and whys of it escape me. All is guesswork, I'm afraid. The Sovereign slash Queen Mob. Or Mab? Mab? 
I'm gonna go with Mab. Why I came down here, I don't know, or perhaps, perhaps I do. She was calling to me from her deep sleep, Queen Mab, who drives men mad, summoned me to her bedchamber. Like Haraway's clock, I am full of alarm. The bells, the bells! Time to run, time to run. I will not call her sovereign. I will not, I will not bow, is that bow the knee or bow? I think it's bow. I will not bow the knee. Time to go. Must fly. Sounds like the word of a crazy person. Sarcophagus. Preliminary note to Alfred Billington to Judith Haraway. I suspect that the so-called sarcophagus is in fact a form of cocoon. It is definitely organic, not manufactured. I believe that nothing in the necropolis is manufactured in the human sense of the term. It appears to be an impenetrable extrusion from whatever lies within it. Like a clam in its shell. The function of the niche in its side is unknown, although Oba has speculated on the heart of stone found near the niche. Inserting a stone in the niche produces no significant result. Research continuing. The heart of stone? Is that that stone artifact I found? The membrane! Ben Gunn, in a great hurry. I caught a glimpse of the membrane covering the sarcophagus. I know there's no earthly fire or sword that will penetrate that barrier, nor do I want that barrier breached and the hidden sleeper revealed. Let sleeping gods lie. Well, I think I'm going to have to pierce that membrane. Although with what, I have no idea. Alright, last one. Martian artifact, the chorus. Report to Haraway from David Chang, the chorus and the central obelisk. The purpose of the alien artifact originally discovered by the by the base of the central obelisk remains a mystery. Oh, that that's the artifact. Okay. It was found at the base of the obelisk. Um, Darnley has suggested that it worked on acoustic on an acoustic principle and has nicknamed it the chorus. It is likely that there is a connection between the chorus and the central obelisk, but a complete explanation of the connection may never be achieved. Generally, we are left with a list of unanswered questions. Why does the chorus deliver an electric shock when the movable end is twisted? Why does the central obelisk emit a faint note when struck by a human being, but is silent when hit by an inanimate object? Evans has speculated that the obelisk was designed to produce a full musical note when struck by the much larger beings of ancient Mars, a note that was then perhaps transmitted to the chorus, if already placed in its niche. In short, the obelisk will respond fully only to a blow from a large living creature, certainly much larger than a human. Perhaps the whole process had some unknown ritualistic purpose, but that is pure speculation. Any chance of Earth sending us an elephant to charge into the obelisk and see what happens? Don't answer that. Okay, so I'm guessing I need a trimorph to bash into it. That's my guess. Okay, well... Let me get my post-game... Or post-recording session, I'm not finished with the game. Stretch. Oh god. That was stressful. Lots of running from things and crashes, or not crashes, but bugs that forced me to shut it down and then installing the patch. Yeah, this game is a mess. Alright, nine saves. Save 41. There we go. I hope you have enjoyed this fucked up game so far. <laughs> And hopefully all the frustrations and bizarre absurdity are amusing and not just frustrating. And I will be back soon to finally finish this sorry, sorry game.